Loves me some Marvel Cinematic Universe. Marvel's heroes are my heroes. I cheer for them, believe in them. I love that the MCU gives me and my friends a chance to chat merrily about the quantum realm, time travel, and the multiverse. Only one problem with the multiverse. The Marvel multiverse is not actually the multiverse. At least according to physicists like my good buddy, Dr. Nick Gross of Boston University. Cosmologists, people who study the history of the universe and the Big Bang and, and what happened in, in inflation theory, um, talk about the multiverse as these different pocket universes where the rules of physics can be different. We have the Big Bang, space and time expands, but nothing in our universe is moving away from us faster than the speed of light. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to see it very early in the in the universe. And when I say very early, I'm talking like fractions of a second. And those fractions of a second in the beginning of the universe, the universe may have expanded very quickly, um, much faster than the the ability of light to get across the the that that portion of the universe. In which case, there may have been some popcorn effect. Some portion may be expanding faster and some portion may be expanding slower. So bits and pieces of it started to disconnect. A piece of the universe expanded so quickly that we are no longer in light contact with it. Those regions also may have a different subset of physics going on. The acceleration due to gravity might be 35 feet per second per second as opposed to sure. the 32 that we're used or to in, or in, something in like that. The big G universal constant of gravity might be different. Maybe there's monopoles. Maybe there's you know little magnetic charges that uh, that unlike a magnet where I've got a north and a south, I can have one piece that's only north or one piece that's only south. And that's the multiverse. It, it's a universe where Amelia Earhart doesn't exist because Earth doesn't exist because the Sun doesn't exist. It's a different universe that has its own history. My best understanding of what Marvel is trying to do is is what's called the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, um, which is sort of an outgrowth of or one of several interpretations of quantum mechanics. There's all these probabilities in uh, in quantum mechanics. So if I ask you about uh, the nature of a particular atom, it's at any given time, the atom can be in a variety of states, like Schrodinger's cat. Right? And so you don't know until you actually go in and measure it. Not only don't you know, but it's actually not in any of those states until you measure it. Right. The cat uh, is in a super state. It's in a <laughs> super, super state. state, of all of, those states. Uh, the super position. Super position. Right? The super position. A super position of all these states. It's like Richard Feynman's famous sum over histories, right? So it's to calculate the future position of an electron as it orbits or moves around the nucleus of an atom. You don't look at where it's been and try to project forward. You assume that it takes all possible paths, that it's in a superposition everywhere around the nucleus of the atom at the same time, and then you calculate the probability that it will be in any one particular place at any one particular yes, right. time. It's, it's got a probability of being in a lot of different places. And it's not until I ask, I, I go in and I hit it with something and have that thing bounce out that I say, aha, it's there, right? The electron's there. It was there. It, it, it was there, right, when I when I did it, right, exactly. Um, and so then the question is, well, what happened to all of those other possibilities? I think the Copenhagen interpretation punts on that, right? It just says, well, you open the box, the cat's alive, the cat's dead, I, whatever happened, that's what happened, and we're done. But then there's this other other interpretation that says, well, you've made a choice in this universe, and now a series of branches have happened where all the other possible choices have. Of course, there's no experimental evidence for any of this stuff. There's just math, right? There's equations that don't predict necessarily many worlds, the many worlds hypothesis is not is not inconsistent with our understanding of quantum mechanics that we have. One of the important skills of a scientist is being able to continually reimagine what might be and then try it. Right? And then test it. The Greeks imagined a lot of things. They were mostly wrong. 
there were a few places where they were right. And one of the things that one of the important things was being able to test what all these possibilities are. Is Marvel doing a disservice to science communication by confusing the many worlds hypothesis with the, the multiverse and giving people uh, uh, the wrong idea, the just wrong idea of, of how scientists talk about and no, describe these no, phenomena? I would, I, would say, I would say no, you know, in the sense that it's like, I don't care what you call it. And, and, it, and again, it, I don't know where, I don't know did the cosmologists steal the multiverse idea from Marvel, and 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 so that they mangle it, right? <laughs> Is it who's who stole it from who? Um, and certainly, you know, multi the multiverse is a much, 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 much better name than, than many worlds. Many worlds sounds kind of like oh, many worlds. You know, there's lots of worlds out there. It's it's golden age science fiction, right? If you will. That's what I hear you saying, I think, is that you don't care about the name. A uh, scientific concept by any other name would calculate as well. <laughs> I care deeply about getting the concept right. It doesn't upset me that they, I mean, maybe there's a cosmologist out there that it upsets, but it doesn't upset me that they're calling this many possible timelines a, a um, the multiverse. Because you just want people to think about quantum mechanics and talk about quantum mechanics and kind of just get generally familiar with the notion that there is such a thing as quantum mechanics and quantum physics in the world. If people are feeling like quantum mechanics is important, you know, and, and uh, uh, throughout this, then I'm, I'm good, yeah. <laughs>